Hello everyone and welcome to Stream and Tech Now. I have a quick video for you today. There's one thing that every Fire Stick user needs to do today. I'm going to explain the reason why coming up next. So the one thing every Fire Stick user needs to do today is to restart your device. And although you may have heard about this before, many people don't actually do it. You need to actually do it on a regular basis, at least once a month. I like to do it once a week. There are multiple reasons why you want to do this. If your Fire Stick, Fire TV, Fire Cube is slow, buffering, lagging, suddenly freezing, you can't get back to the home page, try restarting it. Again, there are many reasons why you need to do this, but here are a few of the main reasons. First up is clear apps and processes running in the background. Now by doing this, this is gonna speed up your device. As you probably know, the Fire Stick comes with low memory, so if you have a ton of apps running in the background, it's going to clog up and slow down your system. So even if you close an app, for example, many times it still runs in the background. So you're going to want to stop those. You can use a few different apps to do this. One is called Background Apps and Process List. Another is called Def Squid. You can also just go into your system settings and go to Apps, go to Manage Applications, and then click Clear Cache and Force or stop those apps. My biggest piece of advice is only have the apps you actually use on a regular basis on your system and delete any others. So next up, by restarting, clears the memory, cached files, or cached memory. Now this, to put simply, is just the space where your Fire Stick stores data and functions that your apps use on a regular basis. Now the memory allows the apps installed in your device to start faster and function properly. Cache memory helps to speed up your app's processes, but can unfortunately take up a lot of your device's storage and slow down its performance. The easiest way of clearing cache data hampering the speed and performance of your devices by restarting your device frequently. Restarting helps by stopping all of the ongoing cache processes. It prevents apps from storing more data in your device, especially if you leave the Fire Stick connected to the internet all day and night. The more data or cache an app stores in your device, the more memory or storage space it consumes. When you know how to restart your Fire Stick and do it more often, you'll stop apps from storing more cache data free up more space and make your device run faster. Next, when you restart your device, it usually will check for system updates. It's important to install the latest updates from Amazon, well, most of the time. They can be significant in fixing bugs and improving performance. Additionally, they can provide necessary security features and help your apps run more efficient. They typically roll this out on a monthly schedule, but it's a good idea to get in a habit of periodically checking this. And you can do this by simply going in your settings, then go to My Fire TV, though go to About, and then check for updates and it will search the server. Restarting your device regularly helps to fix excessive memory consumption caused by memory leaks. Now, these leaks can end up filling up your device's available memory after some time. A memory leak is just essentially your device's failure to release unused data from its memory. It's caused by an application that doesn't release unused objects from the memory. So when you restart your device, you start fresh and on a clean slate, you release the unused data or objects from your memory caused by those memory leaks. Finally, restarting can free up memory space by stopping cross-app access, and this is if you utilize expandable storage. So when you restart your Fire Stick, the apps that you have installed or moved to your SD card can sometimes lose their ability to read and write. You may have noticed this before. Now, this is because of all of that reading and writing that's involved in that process. You can only restore permissions when you move the apps back into your internal storage or when you delete the folder folders in that external SD card and then reinstall the app on that SD card again. Now this may appear like a long process, but it actually helps to improve the performance of your device by saving the resources that your device uses to access apps in the SD cards or any other external memory that you use. In case you need to know how to actually restart your device, there's a couple different ways. The first way is to simply click both the select and play pause buttons together 
at the same time for three to five seconds. You'll see this message that says device is powering off. Now this is important to know, especially if your device is frozen or stuck. The other way is to go through settings. You go to My Fire TV, scroll down to restart, then navigate left and click restart. So there you have it. There are a few reasons why it's important to frequently restart your Fire Stick device. Please let us know in the comments if you have any other reasons why restarting is important. I hope you found this information helpful. Thanks so much for joining and we'll see you next time on Streaming Tech Now.